There is no greater love than that of a parent's love for their children. Lily Potter is notably the prime example of such a love. But Molly Weasley is a mother who arguably merits just as much credit as Lily when it comes to the sheer devotion both women have shown their children. You see, Molly is a woman written with so much character that J.K. Rowling must have had a special person in mind when creating this amazingly strong woman, perhaps a portrayal of her own mother. Molly would go to any lengths to ensure her children grew up the right way, to be respectable, to care for others and she would always see them safe and protected. And when it comes to those words, safe and protected, she certainly had a couple of close call scenarios with her children being put in life-threatening situations, voluntary and involuntary. So how exactly did she kill Bellatrix? And with what spell? Sadly for Molly, she suffered what no mother should ever have to suffer, and that's the loss of one of her children. It's safe to say that all Potterheads felt her sorrow when reading the part of Fred's death. You see, it's one thing operating in fear of losing a loved one, it's another thing operating after you've lost one. Fred's death brought out Molly Weasley's true inner strength, not just to avenge her son, but to ensure it did not happen to any of her other beloved children or anyone else she cared about. And I believe this is the Molly Weasley we see in the Deathly Hallows, and it's the reason behind just exactly how she killed Bellatrix without speaking the incantation of Avada Kedavra. In fact, I don't believe it was even the killing curse she used. Non-verbal spells can be just as powerful, but the effect of the spell stems from the intense concentration, skill, and most importantly, the intention of the caster. It's widely known that in order for powerful spells to be effective, the caster has to mean it. They have to want the spell to do damage. The more intent to harm, the more damage the spell will do. Ginny had narrowly escaped serious harm, basically her death, it's widely known Bellatrix was dueling to kill. This close call of Ginny meeting the same fate as Fred was more than enough to flip Molly's switch and almost transform her into the Molly we all knew was there. Now it's not to say that her efforts were insufficient before, but as I said at the start of this video, nothing is more powerful than a mother's love. And it was this transformation that allowed Molly to not only match but defeat Bellatrix Lestrange, because I think most will agree Bellatrix was a much more powerful opponent. It was Molly's accuracy, intent to harm, and most importantly her motive that fueled the spell that ended the life of Voldemort's favoured lieutenant. One can only assume what spell it was, but I believe it was a non-verbal version of Reducto, hitting Bellatrix across the heart with enough force and authority from the emotionally fueled Molly that stopped the Death Eater's heart. The reason Molly was victorious was because she was fighting to protect, while Bellatrix was fighting to harm. Thank you very much for watching today's video everyone, I thoroughly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up as it goes a long way and means a great deal to me. And also please give me your video suggestions, leave them in the comments. As you may already have seen, I've chosen many of your video suggestions and turned them into videos and your suggestion could be next. And finally, please consider subscribing to my channel so you're kept up to date with daily Harry Potter folklore content. Thank you very much again everyone and have a great day.